We can do that. Great. All right. So uh, what I'm sharing with you right now will turn into a screencast and then you'll be able to watch it if you would like. So you have your gradient tool. Your gradient tool is located underneath your paint bucket. All right. So if you click on your gradient, um, you'll have different options. You have uh, just like a vertical, horizontal or linear type gradient, uh, radial, uh, angle, reflected gradient, diamond gradient. So when you use your um, your mouse, you can drag these line segments down and pull and it will create a gradient for you. Now that just turned gray because right now that's the color that I have working here. You have all these different colors that you can choose from and I'll tell you, I'll show you in a second how you can change it as well. So let's say I wanted to, I don't know, make like a black and uh, grayscale type of gradient. So as I pull my my line, it's the gradient's going to go in that direction. Right? So the more I pull that line segment, so the longer that line segment is, the softer the gradient's going to be. Um, when I pull it, the line segment, the, the less I pull it, I should say, like let's say that far, the tighter that that gradient's going to be. So you keep gradient where this would be a lot softer, right? And then the direction that you pull it in change it, changes the gradient direction as well. So you can see I'm pulling it now on like a diagonal and that will change your gradient. So you can actually use this on your background or like in any type of selection that you make. So I could actually um, Now, when you're doing this, I would create new layers for them. I wouldn't do it in your background because it's permanent. You could take like your selection, your marquee, right? Let's say you wanted to make a gradient just in like this area. You could use your um, gradient tool and it's just going to almost like uh, select that area that was selected, right? But notice I made it a new layer that I'm working in. All right. Um, so that's a great tool to use. Um, let's say I wanted to change the color of my gradient. Um, what I could do is click on, let me do that again. Okay, so I'm gonna, you have like your options here. In fact, let's say I wanted to change it to like a radial gradient. You can pull from the middle and you can see it creates this beautiful radial effect. But let's say you're like, I don't want it to be that color, I wanna change the color. What you can do is click on the, um, the tab here click to edit the gradient. Okay, so when I click on that, I have this gradient editor that pops up and they're all different colors that I can choose from. Right now it's on black and white. Um, maybe maybe you don't want it to be red and green, but you want, you want to use two different colors, right? So this would be like your two different color option here, right? What you can do is, let's say you wanted maybe one side to be red, but the other to be blue, not green. The tab on the bottom, right, if you double click on it, your color pickle, picker will pop up and then you can change that color to the blue um, that maybe you were looking to use, not that green. Um, you can also, using the tab in the center, add more of one color or less of one color, right? Um, if you wanted to add more colors to this, you can lightly just um, click to add a stop, right? Or another tab. Um, so let's say I wanted to go from red to, I don't know, this color to blue, right? Um, I can do, I can add like as many additional colors as I want. If I didn't want four colors and I wanted it just to be three, I can take this and pull it away and it will get rid of it. Okay, so you just kind of click, drag, and pull. Um, but if you did have more than two colors and you had like three colors, you could use the tab in the middle here to kind of pull and adjust colors on both ends. Right, so let's say I wanted to make a gradient with all three of these colors. I'm going to hit OK, and you can see that that's my gradient I have above now. And then based on whatever uh, gradient I chose, that, that's how the colors will show. So when I pull my line segment, 
you can see that's my gradient now. The closer the line segment, the tighter the gradient. The longer the line segment, the softer the gradient. You can also create gradients um, within shapes. So like, let's say, for instance, I don't know, you wanted to create um, Um, okay, this might be a little bit, this might become a little bit more challenging. <laughs> Just bear with me. Um, let's say I wanted to make uh, a triangle, right? There are many different ways that you can create shapes. I'm going to show you one way. Obviously, there's all these different shapes that you can create. Um, and even like custom shapes that you can work with up here. Okay, if you can scroll down, you can see all these different custom shapes. Um, but let's say I wanted to make a triangle. There's no triangle shape here, but one way that you can make one is using your rectangle. Okay, so I can make a rectangle. And if I were to take um, one point away from the rectangle, it will create a triangle. How can you do that? By clicking on the pen tool, which is something that I can make a screencast for as well. Um, which is above the shape tool. If you hold it down, you have all these different um, options. If you go to delete, delete anchor point, okay, you have add and delete. Add will add, delete will delete. These are called anchor points. Okay, These are called line segments, and these are anchor points that are attached to those line segments. Clicking on one with my delete anchor point will delete that point. Okay. Um, and then if I wanted to move these points around, um, whoops, a daisy. Sorry. Um, I was just curious. I would go to my move tool. So you have your pen and your move tool. And what I could do is move these points around. So like I had a student that was interested in doing like a, a spotlight, right? So maybe like the spotlight was coming down from the um, from the ceiling onto the area of like the stage, right? It might look something like this, right? A spotlight. Um, and then what I could actually do is add in like a, a gradient into that. So how would you do that? Just click on the gradient tool and it should, nope, time out, okay. Um, what you could do is go to layer style. Okay, so um, so if you were going to use the shape tool to create a shape and then add a gradient to it, you could go to layer up top and go to layer style, and then you have gradient overlays. So if you go to gradient overlay, it kind of does the same thing that I was just showing you, but um, now it's doing it to the shape. Um, so I can click on here, the color, click to edit the gradient, just like I did before, and I could change the color to whatever I wanted to change it to. I can change the, um, the angle of it, so I can flip it around if I wanted to, have the, the light be casting in this direction. Um, I can scale it so that it's, uh, more of a darker value up at the top, you know, like change the gradient positioning. And I can lower the opacity of it if I wanted to. I don't want to make it blue, but um, just different ways that you that you could use the gradient tool. All right, and you can do this with any of your shapes. So if I wanted to create like a rectangle, right, specific rectangle, and I wanted to add a gradient to it, I could do that by going to layer style, gradient overlay, and then you could see it's adding those gradients specifically to that shape that I've created. So those are two different approaches to using the, the gradient tool. Um, and I actually have this recording right now and it will be 